there are three main reasons as to why grip tape may actually improve your gameplay and your aim. And not all grip tapes are made equal, so I will talk about the two grip tapes or the two brands that I recommend grip tape from. Let's start going through the reasons as to why I think that grip tape can be a game changer for some of you guys. The first and the most impactful for me is to increase the size of the mouse. As an example, the Starlight 12 Gens edition comes with these infinity skins and with these you can actually increase the width of the mouse, which makes it significantly more comfortable for me. This is pretty much a game changer because the small one is on the verge of being too thin. The same also applies for the Hardy S Plus and it also comes with grip tape, but the Chivals grip tapes are not thick enough so I have to stack them on top of each other. And just as with the Starlight 12, this makes the mouse more comfortable for me and makes me able to practice longer sessions which then again makes me a better player on the long term. The second good reason to use grip tape is to improve the consistency with your grip. With this I mean that some shapes like for example the super light can be fairly hard to consistently grip because there are basically no curves and the mouse feels like a potato. To get a more consistent grip with the super light you could use some of these pre-cut grips and place them wherever you would want to grip the mouse. This way you would force your finger positioning on the sides to have a consistent grip every time you touch the mouse. Now the third and the last reason to use grip tape is fairly obvious and it's to make the mouse feel more grippy. The main question here is that which grip tape should you actually use or which ones are the best and for me it's fairly easy the Pulsar Super Grips or the X-Ray Pad Cicada Grip Tape. I've used the Pulsar Super Grips on my GPX for about 3 months and they are not quite as grippy as they would be as new, but they are more durable than other grip tapes that I've tried. The X-Ray Pad Cicada Grip Tape I've used on my NPC one s Wireless for about 2 or 3 weeks and they still feel fresh having no wear whatsoever. The texture on the Cicada Grip Tape feels extremely nice but they are not quite as grippy as the Pulsar Super Grips as new. Still very grippy though, if we exclude the super grips, these are the stickiest ones that I've tried. One thing to note is that both of these options are actually fairly thin, though you will already feel that 0.4mm difference in the thickness, but if you want to significantly increase the size of your mouse, I would recommend you get a stack of lizard skins or something and put these on top of that one. Other than that, I would recommend for you to get the uncut super grips or the pre-cut universal super grips or the pre-cut cicadas because with one set you can actually last quite a long time. For example, if I feel like in 3 months the NPC or 1S grips do not feel that good anymore, I basically got 3 replacements from the same set so this is very cost efficient. Another obvious reason to use grip tape would be of course to cover any irritating holes in a mouse like for example I've done with the Pony Stormbreaker. In the past I was not a big fan of grip tape but these days there are those top tier options as I mentioned and some brands even include decent grip tape in the box like Lamsu and Jeevils. X-Ray Pad also has this Gecko grip tape which I do not recommend. These are pre-cut for a mouse and they only have one set so it's way less cost efficient than the pre-cut universal grip tapes. Coolpad soft grips are also fairly decent but not nearly as grippy as the other two premium options and also not as cost efficient because there is only one set included in the packaging. If you are interested in buying the Pulsar Super Grips or the X-Ray Pad Cicadas, Lethal Gaming Gear should have stock for you US folk and Max Gaming for us Europeans. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.